Hi, I'm Robin Benzie. Welcome to Chow Time. I'm going to cook some dinner for some friends tonight. Doug and Pam and Bob. And because they're so much fun to be around. Just look at them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and thank you, Doug and Pam, for the use of your kitchen. And Bob, since I'm not sure if you know how to boil water, you'll like anything I make, right? <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> I'm going to cook cowboy food tonight. When the cowboys were driving the cattle, uh, you know, along the range there, the most important thing to them was the chuck wagon. Every cowboy prayed they'd get a good cook, which they called cookies, on the chuck wagon. And so this meal is going to reflect the food that they had along the trail. I'm going to start at the stove here in a big black iron skillet and I'm, there's olive oil and butter in the pan and I'm going to get that hot except I have no idea how Doug's stove works. Doug, come over here. Yeah, yeah. I have no idea how your stove works. Well, you're a gas girl, so we're gonna, this is electric. This might be new to you, but all you have to do is oh. push a button like that, uh -huh. increase the heat. Boop, 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 Put it on high. You want it on high? Really? For now, I want to. Oh my. Yeah. Okay, it's on and high, then, that's it. When you want to turn it back, turn it back. That's ridiculous. It's so complicated. It is. Especially, <laughs> especially don't, when you don't wear glasses when you cook. <laughs> okay, so you got it. Do I'm going to need your help in the future. So For what? Stay close by. Okay. With this stove. All right. Okay, so now we'll sit here and wait for Doug's stove to warm up to the point where it sizzles, where I can put some things in the pan. <laughs> I've got a couple of onions that I've diced. I just want to saute this until they start to get soft. You don't want to cook them all the way through, just till they're a little bit soft. So that'll be maybe five minutes. These onions are nice and soft. And by the way, cowboys used to call onions skunk eggs. They had cool words for everything. Now I'm going to add two and a half pounds of ground bison. I am such a fan of bison because of the high protein value and no fat. And it, it's sort of like ground beef, only um, sort of a richer flavor. I just love bison. So we're going to break up the bison and cook it with these onions, brown the bison. Cowboys ate a lot of cattle. They also ate a lot of bison. Cattle was more prevalent. And in fact, the cook would like to say they used, when they cook, cooked up a cow, they would use every part except the Except the cook would say, we use every part of the cow except for the horns and the holler. Okay. What about the rectum? They used that too. It was a delicacy. Yeah. And um, in fact, I will serve that to you later. <laughs> So most of the pink from the bison is gone. Now's the perfect time to add some cremini mushrooms. I have a couple of cups that I diced. Mushrooms is, are a great addition to this dish. We're going to stir those in and cook those for just a few minutes. Are the few minutes up? No, the few minutes are not up. You okay. Just, you want me to just stand here and you can just... 
Okay. Because you're so beautiful. I could just... This is so... This is so New York. Wow. You're a really rad videographer. Now we're going to add some stuff. I've got three tablespoons of tomato paste. Great little flavor there. I'm going to add a couple of cups of beef stock for moisture. And it, as you can see, it's carefully measured. Two teaspoons of salt. One. Two. Teaspoon of pepper. And I love red pepper flakes in this, just for a little heat. So I'm just going to put, oh, just a half a teaspoon of that. Here's a very important ingredient. Can I ask a question? Yes. Did cowboys have tomato paste with them? I will tell you something about tomatoes and cowboys on the trail. One of their favorite things was tomatoes. That was like, if the chalk wagon had tomatoes on it, they were so excited. They loved it. They were canned, however, because they couldn't bring fresh tomatoes with them. Mm -hmm. They loved tomatoes. I'm telling you, this is pretty uh, authentic. So where did they get the tomato paste? You know what? I'm not serving you dinner. I'm serving <laughs> I'm serving Pam and Bob dinner, but you can wait in the other room. One more very important ingredient. I have some instant coffee here. I'm going to add two tablespoons of coffee to this dish. Well, wait a second. And it's going to add such deep flavor. Where did cowboys get instant coffee? Cowboys drank a ton of coffee. In fact, they didn't even call it coffee. They called it Arbuckles. Because at the time, Arbuckles was the number one brand of coffee. They drank a ton of coffee. They loved it. That is why, dog, there is coffee in this dish. Sounds I'm gonna, great. I'm going to mix all this in. It. Tomato paste and the coffee. Look at that. It's just it's looking beautiful and it's smelling great. <laughs> what, Doug? What were you going to say? I just drooled. <laughs> well, okay. Says, Please don't do this. Well, we are who we are. <laughs> I failed to mention. I was cooking up some long grain white rice and I'm going to put in about a half a cup of heavy cream to make it really creamy rice. Stir that in. This is going to be added to the bison dish because cowboys liked rice. Um, the truck wagon always had a huge supply of rice. We'll mix all that in. Okay, all the rice is combined with all the bison and everything. And I'm going to add one more step. You need something fresh with this dish. So tomatoes. I'm going to sprinkle some grape tomatoes that I cut in half all over the top of this dish. This would be a dream meal for a cowboy out on the trail. Wow. So we're all, we're all sitting around here eating chop wagon bison and rice. I'm gonna taste it right now, and to tell you the truth, I don't care what any of my friends think, because if I like it, the show goes on. as usual.
Jesus! I never seen such a bunch of phony, somber looks. God Almighty! I mean, I I had to hold my breath to keep from laughing.